Okay. Um, I was heading to the church, and then I saw this little place. It sells sandals, boots, shirts, and hats. Open 24-7. Let's see what we can find here. Everybody, everybody likes thrift. Shops. Uh, there's another picture. Look at that. Yep. 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 Great. More. Oh, Jesus. I already don't want to be here in here anymore. <laughs> uh. Frame rate in here is pretty gnarly. I think they went a little overboard with the textures in here. Xbox can't handle it. It's just too much. She can't take the pressure, Cotton. Really, guy? <sighs> okay. a weird thing to just up and grab. Hmm. Uh, okay. Now let's just go to the church. Also, I learned apparently um, when you unlock the locker with one of the pre-order codes, there was one for Best Buy, GameStop, and Amazon. I chose the... I think it's the GameStop one that I have. But, uh... Oh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> ah, but, uh, when you do that, the melee weapon you unlock... Um, can show up basically anywhere, or almost anywhere, like in certain spots. Uh, rarely. Um, so like, the first locker, I, like I unlocked the first locker and it had the double-edged battle axe in it. And I haven't seen another one since then, but I have run across a couple of, uh, clips for the nail gun, like just laying around. So, yeah, like I think I already have, yeah, I already have 40 in reserve and 13 in the gun. That's that's 40 in reserve, that's after two clips. Like, each clip's got 20, uh... Pickaxe. 20, um... Nails in it. Oh, gosh. That's where I need to go, but... Uh, come on, guys. Come on, we're going. Whether you like it or not, where's your sense of adventure? Um... This looks like the last store we were in. See the mirror right here and everything. Huh. Storage room key. What is that? Is this a freaking shotgun? Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. It's a good thing I came in here, huh? All right. So new. I know I have some shells. Uh, <sighs> crap. Some shells for the shotgun. Yep. So I got ten shots. Oh hey, no! Pick that up. Now, all y'all bitches best be keeping your distance. I got me a boomstick. Uh, 
Ha. Who has pictures like that? Honestly. I'm just looking over here. Oh. Okay. Ah. Sticking. Oh, hey, it's one of the paintings. This looks like one of those weird paintings. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, from the last episode, um, I think it was the last episode, uh, there was just three paintings that I had left to get, so that's one of those three, so I only have two more now. And I'm guessing it's some kind of treasure map. I guess, that, I think that's it, I think that's all that I needed to do in here, so. I got a shotgun and a painting. That's a hell of a run, if you ask me. I am totally fine with that turnout. <sighs> and apparently, um, there was a glitch that a lot of people were having issues with with the uh, nail gun, um, which I now have, where once you got the nail gun, you couldn't get rid of it. Like, you were stuck with the nail gun. And that takes up a slot. Like, you can either have two firearms or a firearm and a melee weapon at any time. And some people were, like, stuck with the nail gun. And if you had the nail gun, you could only have the nail gun and a firearm or the nail gun and a melee weapon. You could never get rid of the nail gun. <sighs> Luckily, I didn't get the glitch. I was able to just drop it right there. But uh, for those of you who are running into that glitch and you want to get rid of it um, because when you use the code and you unlock the weapon locker you're stuck with that like once you use the code that's it you've used that code you can't use the other two codes even on subsequent playthroughs the locker is already unlocked and those weapons are there but uh if you're if you have the nail gun and you have that glitch and it's in your hand and you want to get rid of it um, spend all the ammo, and use it as a melee weapon. Like, just start whacking enemies with it, and it will eventually break. That will destroy it. That will get it out of your inventory. So, and it's not a great weapon, but it's not a horrible weapon either. Where where it shines is its ammo capacity. Like, it has a lot of ammo, and you'll come across a lot of ammo. That's always nice. Jury finds Patrick Napier guilty of first degree. It took the jury only four hours to deliberate to return a guilty verdict against Patrick Nappler, I almost said Nippler, at the Brahma Courthouse this afternoon. Napier, 42 years... Oh... Yep, this is this, yeah, this is the pedophile. Had been accused of abducting, sexually assaulting, and murdering Daniel Stevens, an eight-year-old local boy whose parents had reported him missing in January of last year. Last time we heard about this guy, it was a 14-year-old girl, now it's an eight-year-old boy. This is a hollow victory at best. Adams told reporters outside the courthouse after the verdict had been handed down. Yes, we got the sick and dangerous predator off the streets and behind bars for good. On the other hand, none of this can return a promising young boy to the arms of his grieving parents. Napier's guilty verdict comes with a mandatory life without parole sentence. He was immediately remanded to Ryle State Prison by sheriff's deputies... Blah, brain fart... Following the verdict, uh, where he will be placed in protective custody and begin serving his sentence in complete isolation from other prisoners. Holy balls! It's that fat bastard! Yeah, I don't feel bad at all about cutting him up anymore. 
Holy shit, dude. Huh. That's freaking wild. Oh, right. Um there's a side quest here. Uh but it, it only unlocks like in a new game plus, I guess. It's it's for the the funny ending. Every Silent Hill game has a funny ending. And uh throughout the town there are like those candles on the barrels. I was asking about them earlier. Uh they mark a location where you can dig. And if you have a shovel in your hand, um, you can dig, and you dig out all these spots, and that's how you get the new ending. So, after you beat the game, look out for those, uh, candles. It's probably a dog ending? Oh, no. I think I was just in one of the Silent Hills, there was a dog. There was a two. I can't remember. I know the second game had a dog. Did the third game have a dog? Did Homecoming have a dog? I think it did. I don't know. I'm getting all the games mixed up. <laughs> They're kind of bleeding into each other for me. Was I supposed to go into the church first? And then come here? I gotta tell you, I am feeling a little more at ease now that I have a shotgun in my hand. I'm a little disappointed, though, that I haven't had anything to shoot yet. <laughs> yeah, I think I come back here later. Okay, enough screwing around! Wait, a little bit more screwing around. Okay, done screwing around. Let's <laughs> let's go to the church and figure out what the hell we're supposed to do. Let's have some progression, for Christ's sake. I can hear you guys now. God, I'm so sick of this guy just wandering around like a goddamn moron, not knowing what he's supposed to do. Just play the freaking game! Oh, and it's starting to rain just in time. Wow. Oh. Oh. I think it's time for a break, guys. Ah! Yes? May I help you? Ooh. Scared I'm me, Murphy lady. I'm Pendleton. I received this letter today but I think there's been a mistake. Ah, yes. Mr. Pendleton. We've been expecting you. I never did read you the letter. You were the only family we were able to locate. Your presence is very welcome. Family? No, uh... That can't be. Uh, I mean... Bless you, child. I understand this must be very confusing for you. We've checked the records carefully. And I assure you, there's no mistake. Please, come in. I think I busted my jar of peppers. Juice all over the place. I put those back in the fridge. <laughs> what the hell? He died peacefully and is finally at rest. For that at least we can thank the Lord for his mercy. He didn't leave much behind, but his few personal effects are yours to claim. What happened here? Was there an earthquake? I'll meet you in the morgue in the East Wing, when you're ready. In the meantime, please feel free to look around. We're pleased that the good Lord has allowed us to carry out his work here at St. Maria's. I'm sure you'll find your visit enlightening.
Well, guys, um, I believe this episode has gone on long enough. Let us take a break. I'm going to eat me some peppers. And we will be back here later soon, maybe, after the loading screen.